Hey guys, Shocker from Socky Tech, and in today's video, we are going to be talking about a massive new update for Samsung Galaxy smartphones. Now, this update particularly is for the Samsung Galaxy S25. This is One UI Beta number four. Now, if I scroll all the way down, and if I go to Software Update and go to Last Update, you can see at the bottom it is in fact quite a large update. It is almost 1.2 gigabytes. It's got the latest security patch for July, and you can see the build ending number is ZYGB One UI 8 Android 16. And you can see we do have a big list of bug fixes right over here, and also some new features on the lock screen and the home screen. So I'm gonna come back to these guys, but let me show you some new features and see what's going on. And there's also enhancement to performance and animations for a smoother experience. All right, the first thing I'm gonna show you guys, if you go to the settings, and if you enable your developer options right over here, we do have a brand new option in here. So I'm gonna go in here, I'm gonna tap on search, I'm gonna say terminal, okay? So if I tap that in here, and if I tap on search, at the bottom, under developer options, you're gonna see this experimental new feature that allows you to run Linux terminal on your Android smartphone, okay? So look at this, if I go over here, this is the detail I get. If I go back under search, it says experimental run Linux terminal on Android. When I do go inside, it doesn't say the same thing, but I can easily turn this on and do my thing if it is something you are interested in. So that's a new feature in One UI 8 Beta 4. We do have another new feature, which is pretty amazing. If you go to the settings here, and if I scroll down and go to my always on uh, display right here, we have the brand new erase background feature. Now it's not working right now because I do have to pick a certain wallpaper. So let me find one really quickly so I can show you what this does. So I just picked up this wallpaper right over here to show you what that's gonna do. So now if I go to my settings and if I scroll down and go over to lock screen and AOD under always on display, I can enable erase background. You can see it gives you a preview. So background erased, okay? So now when I go, let me just enable this to be always on, my always on display. So now when I go to my always on display, Look at what happens, the background gets erased around that fox. When I double tap, it kind of zooms out and brings the background into existence, okay? So very nice new feature on One UI 8, fantastic. The next change has to do with the wallpaper customization screen. So if I go to my wallpaper and style, and either if I go to the lock screen or the home screen, let's just do this one for now, and when I tap on wallpapers, I have this new area right here that shows suggested images as my wallpaper from my gallery. So if I tap on these guys, I get this stack, and from this stack, I can pick any one of these guys to set as my wallpaper. So it works on the lock screen, and also it works for the home screen. Same thing, tap it, boom, you got the suggested images. So right now, this feature only appears on One UI 8, on Z Fold 7 and Flip 7, but now it is available in the beta. And again, if I tap it, I get the suggested stack of images that the phone thinks are gonna be good wallpapers. Additionally, if I go back here, I do wanna show you guys something that we have not gotten yet for some reason. So when I go inside here, and if I go to the clock, okay, let's just say I pick a style from here, uh, I still don't have the shifting clock option. The shifting clock feature is this one right over here. When you pick a style, this is the Z Fold 7, you go over here and you have this shifting clock icon and you can see how it shifts itself around the cat as I resize it, okay? And when you take this to the always on display, it looks much better. So take a look at this right here, okay? So this is the always on display. When I double tap to wake it, the clock wakes up as well, okay? So we don't have that here for some reason just yet. Additionally, the phone just feels far more snappy, okay, and smooth, there's no question about that. This is a much better beta. And also, when I look at my now bars over here, the animation and the speed and the quality is much better, okay? So no weird wobbles, nothing, just straight snappy performance. I like that. 
If I check the same thing in the lock screen, that's also going to be the case. Very nice, okay? It feels much more refined, and that's how it should be. Now let's go back to the settings over here. Scroll down, go into software update, and look at some of these uh, bug fixes. So bugs that have been fixed, added an emergency update feature for Samsung IMS service. I have no idea what that is. Let me know if you know what that is. This is also related, but we do have this thing right here. It says supports full screen switching while playing videos when using Samsung DeX. We have some Galaxy AI fixes, improved Bixby, improved display issue in the quick launch icon area on the lock screen. So the quick launch icon area is gonna be right here. So it looks like there's some kind of fix for that as well, okay? Let's see if anything happens. Okay, it's the same, uh, but apparently some people are having a problem and that's been fixed. And then, basically you can just pause and read just some minor bug fixes that are important, but not major features. This one actually is probably important. Improved flickering issue of the central vertical horizontal level gauge when switching from the front to the rear camera. So if I go to my camera, so I don't have the level, let's enable that real quick. Let's go down over here, composition guide, enable grid lines and the level. So apparently as you switch back and forth with the front camera and the rear camera, there was a problem with that, some kind of graphical problem that's been fixed, okay? Hard to demonstrate, but if you're having the flickering problem, that's been fixed as well. But that's about it with this update, guys. I think it's a great update. It's almost the final version. So the official One UI for the S25 should be out in a week or two. Any questions, comments, or concerns? Drop them down below. Let me know for now. Have a fantastic day.